if you're spending countless amount of hours producing content to your Instagram account, but not converting any leads, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you a very simple Instagram funnel that can turn views into emails with this powerful automation. Some people call it the comment to DM automations. Others call it Instagram funnel. The end result is the same and I'll uncover everything you need to know from the technology in the background, some of the tips to optimize on your campaign, and also how to get started today for free. The requirements for this campaign are quite simple. One, you need some sort of an offer, a giveaway. Some people give out courses, guides, workshops, free consultation, coupons. It doesn't matter as long as you have something of value that you can give away after you have produced your reels. Second, you need to create a form and a list. Usually we don't ask for a lot. A name and email are sufficient because longer input and longer forms will not convert as well. We will create a comment trigger automation. I'll show you exactly how to do that. Also, a follow-up email automation because not only we need to capture that email, we also want to nurture that email to convert in the future. And finally, you need a real value content that you're pushing out, usually about a minute long, that you can put on your Instagram account. Most of us already do this. We're turning our expertise into short bite-sized videos that could be consumed in under 60 seconds. And the key here is we're using the reel. And at the end of the reel, we're asking people to leave a comment to get a longer form to whatever you're teaching. I'm going to show you an example on writing up cold emails. All right. So let's dive into the setup in the background. The first thing we need is an offer. I already have an offer here. It's a mini a workshop on cold emails, how to write up cold emails, things to avoid. So I've already put together this presentation. I recorded it. I have a video on YouTube that you can see, and I created a very simple landing page hosted on my VBot account. The actual page looks like this. There's a video I can watch. What am I watching? And also an option to get started today. It doesn't matter how this looks like. It could be hosted on your WordPress, on any landing page builder. I'm using VBOT in this case. So that's one. I got the offer. It's a mini workshop. Now let's go ahead and look at the form. I want to generate leads from this funnel. For that, I'm asking for the name and for the email address. There's a very simple tool here that can be used under VBOT's lists. I'm going to go into just customize this, your email address and name. I can collect more, but as I mentioned before, the longer the form, the less conversions. All right, and I'm done. I've configured my list. I have the offer ready on a landing page. I will now go into the automation process to create that automation. So we're going to go to the left, click on automations create an automation on the top. I'm going to call it cold email. I like labeling things the right way. So if I want to dig it up in the future, I can find it through my labels on the left. You'll see triggers and actions. The trigger I'm looking for, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll notice there's a social media keyword, bot. very, very important. We need to get that dragged from the left to the center of the screen and I'm going to also switch to actions to send out the first DM. So I'll link those up by dragging this arrow to the send DM. I will double click to configure. I've already created an account and connected it to VBout. So I will choose that Instagram account. It needs to be a business account that's already linked to a Facebook. This is a requirement for this functionality to work. Now what I can do is I can choose a specific reel or post, any reel or post, or the next one I'm about to publish. Let's leave it out at all posts or reels for now. And in this section in the keywords, I'm going to choose whatever I want. It doesn't matter what the keyword is, but in this case, I'm going to do workshop. That's the keyword I want people to leave in the comment section in order for my automation to begin. 
here is an additional option. We recommend Oro replying to the comments to get a little notification on the user's account. We've seen this help in the initial test phases, but one thing important to note is that you need to set up at least three comments that the system will rotate between them, just to avoid Instagram flagging your account as a spam. That's it. You can add more, but the minimum requirements for this are three. All right, this is it. I have the channel chosen. The listener is for all posts or reels. The keyword is set and also the comments. Now let's configure the DM. I will double click on it and you will notice there are different kinds of messages that you can send out. A simple text message does not ask for any input. The media message can be a video or image, so you can technically send a DM with a video of you speaking or whatever the content that you want. It could be a card if you want to send. I think you've seen them in some cases where you receive a message that looks like an image with a button underneath. You can set the title, the card, subtitle, and the button. You also have just straight buttons. You can have stack of three. And the last one, which is I'm using today, is the form. I'm then choosing from here the form that I just created, I showed you earlier. These are the two fields that I'm collecting. And finally here, I'm going to add the form prompt. So that's the first line that shows up before the form is asking for the email. And by the way, the form is simply talking through the DM and asking for that information. So I'm going to write up a quick prompt message. Once you're done with your prompt, put the confirmation message. It could be a thank you. Please check your email. This is it. We are done configuring the comment to the bot, as you can see, is extremely simple. We have configured the trigger with all the different keywords and the post selection. Then I scheduled the DM. The way this works is the moment somebody leaves a comment, and I'm gonna demo this for you live, they will receive not only the auto reply to the comment, a DM is going to be sent as a request. What I will also do is a few minutes later, I will send a follow-up message, let's do five minutes, and I have 24-hour window from the moment someone responds to the, my first message request to deliver as many DMs as I want. After 24 hours, the window expires and I will have to wait for them to reply again for any additional messages. This is why I recommend that any automation you do on Instagram is to be limited to within 24 hours. Now, in case they respond three days later, Four days later, the system will start delivering the subsequent message. I will send the second DM, which includes a link to the video. So here's what I've configured. I have an introductory message before the buttons, one button to access the workshop, which is a simple link to the landing page of the offer. And then here I have the URL to the pricing page in case people want to get started with your email marketing program. Again, you don't have to have all these options. I'm just putting it for convenience. I will also create a second automation that sends out the email confirmation once someone provides their email through the, the DM directly. I will go ahead and create automation. This one is very, very simple. The trigger in this case is joining a list, which is filling out the form. That's the one we used inside our Instagram funnel. The action on the left is sending out an email. So these are two automations working together, even though that I created them on separate canvases. They're actually communicating with each other. The moment somebody fills out the form on the first one, they will immediately be pushed into this one. So let's create the content of the email, including the link to the landing page directly. So I created the email and some best practices here always send from a person, not a generic name. Make sure the subject line include personalization and an emoji. We've seen these perform best. The copy should also be personalized. At the bottom, add your company address and an option to unsubscribe. All these options are available inside your VBOT toolkit to cover yourself and be fully compliant. The email has been created. I will save it. And that second automation is also ready. To summarize what I've done, I've created one automation for the comment to the M through Instagram and the secondary one, which is optional, sending out the follow-up email to that person directly from Viva. 
Now that I've gotten these in place, all I have to do is get my reel, upload it to my Instagram, and we can test it together. Now you see on the top, after I created my video talking about cold emails, very short, one minute, I put a little title that says, leave the comment workshop, as well as I'm mentioning it at the end of the content itself. So just make sure to follow these best practices in case people have this on mute and they're reading subtitles, they could actually see this at the top of the video. I've completed uploading the reel to my Instagram account and I also left in the comment section, you can see the first comment on the video, the option to leave a workshop with all the hashtags. Let's test this out and see the behavior of this DM automation. It took about a minute to complete the flow, but you can see right here, there's an auto reply directly from the comment section. I also received a message directly inside my inbox. So let's look at that together. This is the message that I received from Vbout. Don't mind this image because we've had a previous thread between myself and the Vbout account. So I will provide the email. This is where I've configured my introductory message. Ask for my name. It says, thank you, I just shared the link to the video. Notice everything you see here has been configured inside the automation directly. So you're controlling the copy, you're controlling the form, everything you see is under your control. If you go back to your automation, you will notice how many items were completed and how many are pending. In the cold email workshop, there is one pending because I have two messages and one that already executed. That's the one I just showed you. The secondary automation that I've set up was the email sequence that delivers the email to the inbox. So it shows you one pending, it takes about a minute or two until it gets this content delivered. The beauty about this is you don't need to stop at the first message. Part of strategies to have powerful nurture campaigns is to continue delivering very good content to those people in relation to the topic that they opted into. So you can configure this to have follow-on cadence of five, six emails. You can even add those people to your future campaign invites. If you're doing events like we are for our community that teaches them about marketing, you can continue that process and they become part of your distribution list. This is the second message that I received. It was part of the workflow. You will notice the buttons. If I click access cold email workshop, it's gonna take me to the video. And if I click on start sending emails today, it's gonna take me to my sign up on the VBout platform. The email also got delivered, as you can see right here. I include the name and the emoji to stand out amongst a busy inbox. The content was straightforward, everything that I shared before. So I simply click here and that's it. At the back end of all of that, your analytics will be tracked inside the system so you can see how many steps executed. And if you click on it, it tells you the person, the profile of the Instagram that engaged with you as well. The emails will also be captured inside the system. So every submission will be stored for your own sake. If I click inside the profile, I can track all the activity and the history of that person. That's all you need to do to create your own Instagram funnel that converts views into leads using a simple automation. To create your own today, visit vbot.com and grab a free account to get started. Thank you.